the number of COVID patients are now streaming into hospitals at a rate that has some bracing for a new level of flood stage. As the volumes continue to increase, and in situations like this where you don't quite know where those volume increases are going to end, it has everyone constantly um, looking and preparing and planning for the, for the next stage of this. Dr. Jim Horn is an emergency physician and chief quality officer at St. Elizabeth. He says the numbers confirm what they're seeing. In COVID tests, positivity rates five weeks ago were at about 5%. Last week, it was 18%. But there's more. Over that same course of time, uh, we've essentially seen a tripling of our hospital inpatients uh, diagnosed with COVID. St. Elizabeth alone has 170 COVID patients. They're expanding the number of COVID beds and have capacity. They also have the PPE they need. But there is one critical resource that is not as easily expanded anywhere, the X factor. The appropriately trained human resource factor is uh, is limiting. Tiffany Mattingly is with the Health Collaborative. They have a pulse on hospitals across the region. We have a finite amount of trained staff to take care of these patients. And it's not just getting more people. The other big factor in all this is the toll this takes on healthcare workers. What are you hearing from them? Well, I think the biggest thing that I would say is is that they're they're tired. But Dr. Horn says they have prepared for the rising tide. So while I will admit that there's some fatigue, there's also a lot of rallying that's occurring and a lot of great care that's taking place. You know, one doctor told me, remember whenever all those healthcare workers were going to New York to help out when this all started and they had a huge surge up there. He says, well, this is happening all over the country now, so there's no backup. Everyone's on their own for now. Reporting live, Brian Hemrick, WLWT News 5. All right, Brian.